The 2022 state election is on Saturday the 19th of March. Voting is compulsory for anyone over the age of 18 and it's easy. Arrive at your nearest polling booth between 8am and 6pm on election day. You can find yours online at ecsa.sa.gov.au or on the My SA Gov app on your phone or on the back of your easy vote card that you received in the mail. Make sure you wear a mask and if you want to, feel free to bring your own pen or pencil or one will be supplied for you. Outside the polling booth, candidate representatives may offer to give you how to vote cards, suggesting you vote in a particular way. You do not have to accept or follow the how to vote cards. How you vote is your decision. Before you enter the polling booth, make sure that you do your COVID check-in and sanitize your hands. Have your name marked off the electoral roll by using your easy vote card, the MySA Gov app, or having it manually checked by election staff. The election staff will confirm your identity and ask if you require any assistance. Next, you'll be handed two ballot papers to fill in. A green one for the House of Assembly, also called the Lower House, and a white one for the Legislative Council, also called the Upper House. They will also have single-use pencils for you to use if you haven't brought one of your own. First, let's look at your Green House of Assembly ballot paper. This is to select a local member to sit in your lower house of the South Australian Parliament. The party that wins the most seats typically forms the government. To make your vote count, you must number every square with consecutive numbers in the order of your choice. Put the number one in the square next to the candidate of your first choice, the number two next to your second choice, and the number three next to your third choice, and so on until you've numbered every square. Now, let's look at your white Legislative Council ballot paper. The Legislative Council's primary function is to review legislation that has been passed by the House of Assembly. Members of the Legislative Council represent the whole of South Australia. There are two ways you can vote on the White Legislative Council ballot paper, either above the red line or below the red line. Do not do both. If you just want to vote for one or more parties or groups of candidates, vote above the red line. By writing the number one in the square next to the party or group of candidates, that is your first choice. If you want to, you can write the number two next to your second choice and so on for as many parties or groups of candidates as you like. You do not need to number every square. Leave the rest of the ballot paper blank and put nothing below the red line. If you want to decide your own preferences for all candidates, vote below the red line by writing the number one in the square next to the candidate who is your first choice below the red line. Then continue by writing numbers two, three, four, five, and so on in all the squares next to the other candidates to show the order you prefer them. If you vote below the red line, remember to make sure you number at least 12 of the squares below the red line. If you make a mistake, just ask for a new ballot paper. And if you'd like to practice filling in your ballots before election day, you can do so by navigating to the voting tab at the top of this website and clicking on practice ballot papers. Once you've finished numbering your ballot papers, fold them in half and put them in the ballot boxes. Your white ballot paper goes in the ballot box that says white. Your green ballot paper goes in the ballot box that says green. All that's left to do is head outside and get yourself a democracy sausage. You've earned it. If you want more information on the election or how to vote, download your free state election guide at ecsa.sa.gov.au.